Hi everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tournament with Ben Apsey and... I'm Daryl Nicholson on this lovely, lovely Friday. So, mate, a lot going to be happening this weekend. Yes, and a bit of rain through, through the week as well, oh, which has been great. So yeah, It didn't get a lot of... A lot of rain though, it was more drizzle wasn't it? Yeah, a little, little bit, bit of a little bit. Freshen up the so, plants. Yeah, so Friday the um, 12th of June in 2020, so a few things happening mate. I just saw the big announcement, we were talking to the guys at the Cube and um, they're opening tomorrow midday, uh, midday through till late, uh, providing meals through the day. So again, book, and if you book, please show, show up. up. Yes, you know, I think uh, a, lot of, a lot of restaurants starting to get fairly frustrated mm. with people booking and not showing up yep. um, and they'd be well within their rights to charge a booking fee I, I think so yeah, there might yeah. be a way of getting around that. So. Yep so uh, the Cube is opening, Junk open again, Yes. Uh, they're opening mm -hmm. tomorrow as well. Um, oh yeah by the way the Cube's Friday, Saturday, Sunday so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday for your lunches and dinners. Uh, junk's opening up as well. Uh, Aaron, I was talking to him, he is just doing the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Just doing the weekends. Uh, from um, at the doing King Ong's Bitter Garden. And Tats on Market Street doing They're doing Wednesday, Wednesday through to Sunday. Through to Sunday yeah. So Wednesday through to Sunday. So again, bookings are essential at all these places and you know, I'd even just, please just book. Just so, just don't rock up because um, you, you may, you'll just have to get takeaway. So it's safe to do that. Book at Tat, uh, not Tats, the um, Fitzies as well. Again, Fitzies were the one that put the post up about showing up. So please, if you book, please show up. Um, mate, what else is going on we're around talking here? About, we're talking about booking. You know, mm. we're, we're down here today at Globe Travelers uh, Travel and Cruise mm -hmm. on um, Market Street mm -hmm. and starting to get some bookings coming through. So, okay, um, some really nice um, deals coming from TripleDeal and Globe Travelers here in town is the registered TripleDeal okay. agent yep. um, for the CBD. So, you know, you're able to book that through these guys and it's a little bit a little bit to keep keep things going while there's no international travel. So Okay, that's great. So, look, if you want to plan to get away, Come down to see Paul and the team here at Globe Trotters. So um, that's great. Uh, Farmers Markets is on on Saturday under the windmills at Cobb Co. So fresh produce, and you can get a whole range of things there: meat, seafood, turkey, um, whole range of things. So um, coffee, um, hot food. Um, it's a, it's just growing, mate. It's getting bigger and bigger. So I'm going to pop down there and have a look on Saturday as well. See what it's about. And mate, I've been reading the Chronicle, not really, not seeing much. They did a story about a man who had to relieve himself at Clifford Gardens. I thought, okay, because the toilet was the toilet locked. was locked. Yeah. The, the centre are going to open the toilet, but um, there was there'd been a, a, a coal mine, a mine going to the receivership, was it? Yeah, King Roy. So King Roy yeah. coal mine's got into yeah, the receivership. So yep, that's um, really sad. So, but look, heaps to do in Toowoomba on the weekend. Just please book when you go out and enjoy a, a restaurant. It'd be good to see the movie theatres open soon. Um, it can't be too far away. Movie surely. theaters, Empire Theater. Theater. I cannot tell you how excited people will be, yeah. and I guess people are starting to realise the flow-on effects of no Empire yeah, Theater. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Um, as soon as stuff is back on there, get in and see it. Yep. Support Please. the arts yep. where you can. Mm -hmm. And again, think local, support local, buy local. Um, the team at Gelatissimo are there uh, as well. Now we've got a bit more uh, meals going on. Get, get get in there and grab your desserts from um, the team at Gelatissimo. And they do coffee late at, late uh, as well. So if you're looking for a coffee late in the afternoon, Gary and the team there uh, can look after you as well. Yeah, and so. it seems that most of the coffee shops in town all open or uh, mm. reopening. And the only one we haven't heard from yet is Bonamici's. So yeah, is, yeah. It, is it bon, bon Voyage for Bonamici's or are they just on a break? So. No, I think they're just having a bit of a break. So um, hopefully they'll get open soon. So. Right, mate. Well, that's uh, Friday. Friday sort of wrap. And uh, look, have a great weekend. We're taking Saturday and Sunday off, and I uh, might do a few repeats of what we've done. But um, yeah, look, enjoy your time if you're in Toowoomba. Just again, just think local, support local, buy local. If you're going away, safe travels. Just that's take it. it really easy on the road. Been quite a few car accidents, so really, I know we haven't been driving for a while. More just people on the roads safe. than from coronavirus. So. Yeah. Just drive safe. Drive sensibly. Drive to the conditions. Yep, exactly. You know, go the speed limit. That's either not too fast or not too slow. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is illegal to drive too far under the speed limit as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. Yes. It's quite dangerous. So. Yep. Take it easy, Toowoomba. I'm Daryl Nicholson, Toowoomba 4350 TV. More than just a postcode. Thank you for joining us with Good Morning Toowoomba. I'm Ben Apsey.